Hello YouTube, Coolnick09 here from Blast Pass Gaming doing a birthday edition of my reviews. I'm 19 years old today, so let's get ready to do a review for Star Wars Dual Mode for the Wii. So you get to start off with a shit ton of characters, like characters that aren't even in this game, which is pretty cool, different robes, different all that stuff. Just characters you know, that weren't in this game at all from the original series. So choose your favorite one, choose your selected arena that you want to fight on, there's only nine of them, but still pretty good. Okay, let's get right into it. Now, it's basic sword fighting kind of game, You're using it for a Wii, so you need to have nunchucks and stuff like that. So, we're going to do Anakin versus the Apprentice, known as Star Killer. So you can jump around, fling yourself around. Remember, you do need the nunchucks, so it is kind of it is kind of difficult to do all the moves and contact them and connect them perfectly. But you can, the force is definitely there with this one, guys. Uh, pushing stuff around, lightning bolts, explosions. It's just really fun. So now you see when that icon fills up with your face on it in your left hand and right hand corner. When those fill up, you get an ultimate force attack, and they and that wipes out probably a decent amount of health. Now, if you play the Force Unleashed for the 360 or the PS3, you've had the full experience for the real Force Unleashed. If you play the PS2 or the Wii version, they have a, when you go to the Jedi Temple a couple times, those never happen. They're fighting a bunch of holocrons and holograms and past Sith. That doesn't happen here. It's just fighting. So now I'm going to use Darth Maul. He was my favorite back when I was a kid. He had a double lightsaber. He doesn't have it in this. But guys, let's look at the graphics. The graphics are pretty good for a Wii. You're not looking for anything outrageous if you're even playing the Wii, so... I don't know anyone who has one, really. I still have one, but don't use it. But this game was pretty good. It wasted a couple hours. Something to have around if you guys, if you and the boys want to have a little bit of fun. Having some sword fights or living some Star Wars nostalgia. Definitely worth it. Even with the upcoming movie coming out next year. Now... I'm going to be doing these videos for reviews. I try to do them as often as possible with school and all that. It is kind of hard, so I do forgive me for that. But I'm trying to get a lot better. So you guys let me know how I do. If there's anything you want me to change, any games you want me to do, or just to say hi, post it in the comments below. And I will get. I always respond. Now, I mean, this game is just, I don't know, it's perfect. It's perfect in the, what you need it for. And you can have some serious fights, except for these parts, you have to match that shit up. I hate that. But, you know, it is what it is. Star Wars is Star Wars. It's better than other shitty games for Star Wars that come out. <coughs> Force Unleashed 2. So, now... It's... In my mind, this game is something I play for a couple hours and probably never play again. But it is fun. It's a little competition you can have with friends. It's the way to go. Winner! Woohoo! Alright guys, so, for my next review, we will be doing Star Wars Battlefront 2 for the PS2. You guys have a great day, and may the Force be with you.